idea was to connect photographers and artists across country uh, to use their images to transfer onto sheer scarves that are made entirely from recycled plastic bottles. Uh, so that we could raise money for charity and we could bring awareness to uh, photographers and bring awareness to the arts community in general. We started with an event in Vancouver and we were focused on uh, West Coast charities and West Coast artists and it was so well received that we brought it nationwide. What we do is, is print them actually in a direct sublimation process straight onto the scarf. Wow. And you can see the vibrancy of color because it's a polyester material which is the recycled PET. That's the recycled plastic bottles, it's post-consumer. Helping the environment and looking stellar in the process. We really wanted to find uh, photographers that uh, took images that really typified each of the um, provinces that they're representing, as well as a, uh, a First Nations artist who's representing the Haida Gwaii community. You get really dirty, so if you go out uh, to get your shots, you got to make sure you wear the right attire, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah. got everything to, to uh, keep me warm in minus 40 degrees temperatures to scaling ice. What I do is, instead of taking one photo, uh, most people would use a wide angle lens in this situation. I'm now, I've got mounted here, as you can see, a telephoto lens. So I'll actually zoom in and uh, imagine this entire scene here, I'll break it down into a grid and do several rows of shots. So I'll do one row right here and you can see my, my uh, tripod clicks for each shot. Um, I'll do a second row and then a third row and then once I have all those images, I'll stick them all together into a really, really high resolution picture. Keeping everything in focus, keeping everything with the right uh, exposure so it's not too dark, it's not too bright. The stitching part of it is all done in the software. So it's, if I do the picture correctly, um, the software will take care of automatically putting the photos together. This is your passion. You, you used to be in IT forever and yeah. then you went into this, so now you're in uh, artist, photographer, yeah. and uh, and then how did you get involved with In Focus? Kemp asked each of the photographers to provide several different images, and then they selected what might look the best on a scarf. So when you fold it up, twist it, you know it's going to look good one way or another. Um, so he selected one of my uh, British Columbia shots from uh, Mount Assiniboine Provincial Park, which is a beautiful landscape. Uh, they sometimes call it the Matterhorn of North America. Wow. Oh my gosh, you took that. Wow. Yeah. So he's, the website is up. People are able to order and buy these scarves. And every time they order a scarf, each of us photographers, um, a portion of all the proceeds goes to a charity that we have decided to. How do you get the print on it? So it's a, a print process called sublimation. We run the scarves through a roller machine and it actually prints directly onto the scarf fabric and then we cut and sew the edges and fray the edges. We regularly work with corporate clients to uh, build uh, apparel and uniforming programs and we transfer images here, we do direct screen printing, we do embroidery. It's domestic manufactured, all the fabrics are coming from Montreal as well. So we engineer uh, new fabrics that are organic cotton and recycled PET, which is the same uh, fabric as the scarves, to build t-shirts, to build hoodies, uh, you name it. Bottles. It's 100% recycled plastic bottles. That's incredible. Yeah, and it's all post-consumer, so it's literally diverting waste away from landfill. I often get asked why we work with these giant companies that generally aren't seen as doing good, and the reason being is the impact that they can have when they do the right thing is enormous.